Hi guys, my name is Ade Inka Otsumba, in case you're seeing me for uh, 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 uh. Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. My name is Ade Inka Otsumba, in case you're seeing me for the first time, I welcome. And in case you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you, thank you for always coming back to watch my video. God bless you. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about what I learned in 2020 or what 2020 taught me or, you know, just the summary of 2020. You know, man, 2020 has been a tough year. 2020 has dealt with us. So if, sound like, if that sounds like what you want to watch, then Please keep watching and if that sounds like what you don't want to watch, well, you don't have a choice. Just stare at my beautiful face. On my channel, we talk about food, we talk about family, we just in general, it's a lifestyle blog, so I do a lot of vloggings too. Just, it's just fun, just fun and fun and fun all through. So please, please, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you haven't yet, if the subscribe button is still red, please kindly tap on the subscribe button and don't forget to like my videos and comment on my videos. Thank you so much and let's get into what today's video is about. So today's video is about what I learned in 2020, what 2020 taught me, like just put in 2020, like the summary of 2020, you know, the recap of this year. Like, you know, this year has been so tough on a lot of um, families it has been so tough on a lot of people by the way guys how did your holiday go what did you guys do for the holidays you know was it quiet did the pandemic also affect your regular yearly celebrations like just tell me you can comment below in the comment section and i'll be right there reading everything you guys have to say you know um 2020 has been a really tough year and uh, just um, just so you know, if I'm looking down on my phone, I made some points and uh, I'm just going to be looking at it and I'm just going to be talking about what 2020 has been like and, you know, just what it's been for a lot of families in terms of work, in terms of, you know, just being with your loved ones and a lot of people lost their loved ones this year. I mean, even people that we probably haven't met before, but just hearing about their death and, you know, it's just crazy. So this year has been one heartbreaking year. And, you know, also this year is the year we lost, uh, we lost Kobe Bryant and his daughter. You know, it's just, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. This same year we dealt with police brutality in Nigeria. We just dealt with so much. I went to Nigeria in February. I was supposed to be getting married. I was supposed to have my wedding ceremony in April, which ended up um, being postponed due to the pandemic. So, um, so the pandemic affected a lot of things. We already flew to Nigeria. So we we're just waiting for April 18 and for us to get married. And I mean, officially, not officially, but the ceremony, like the Nigerian ceremony, you know, and the pandemic didn't let that happen and we had to buy like another emergency ticket and we had to fly back to the States and it was just crazy. And I remember, you know, the um, airline we flew back was Emirates and I remember coming back I remember being at the Emirate airport and, you know, that airport just looked like a ghost town. That's one airport that just, you know, that is full of life. You just see so many people. You see so many stores opened. And I remember that when I was going to Nigeria, my husband had actually flown with me to Nigeria just so that um, I wouldn't have to struggle with a four months old you know and um on my way back because it was stuck here in the united states so i had to fly back home by myself and boy was it crazy yeah it was and and i was struggling around the airport trying to you know 
carry my baby trying to pull my carry-on and you know at the emirates airport you're not allowed to bring in your own stroller so they have the strollers once you get off the plane that you can use and then you can just drop it when you're done using it and i was afraid of touching the strollers because i'm like okay i don't know there's a pandemic should i touch or should i not touch it you know and there was just a whole lot of um all the lounges and everything was shut down the only hotel that was open that we could stay at when i went there they said oh i have to wait seven hours or eight hours before i could get a room i'm carrying my son i'm trying to carry his diaper bag i'm trying to pull my carry on it was just a mess it was just a mess you know and by the time and we were on the plane he didn't want to stay in his bassinet he wanted me to carry him we need to strap him down to the bassinet to make sure when we're landing or when we're doing whatever and i remember there was times on the plane where i wanted to pee but of course anybody beside me is a stranger i can give my son to a stranger and it's like okay do i know i don't know what they have i don't know he, he, he was just so scary he was just so scary and you know it was just a, a really 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 um bad experience and everything and when i got back here i was just tired and we had just moved into a new house he had moved in all by himself into the new home and of course we still had some boxes around i still had a little bit of unboxing to do because he had tried his best to you know put things in their places but the kitchen was untouched the pantry was untouched I just had to deal with those again and you know moving into a new home we ordered a lot of things things were on back order we didn't get our couch we didn't get all those things on time it was just crazy and then you know stuff's coming and i'm afraid and i'm like okay what's going on this pandemic man boy i we can only hope for a better 2021 we can only hope for a better 2021 you also notice you notice the celebration became smaller you know uh of course we were on lockdown for a bit and then after a while the lockdown was eased a lot of people were laid off from their jobs things their families would usually do um like celebrations you know i'm sure some people have their like traditions their traditions for christmas their traditions for the new year their traditions for everything but this um pandemic kind of affected it and a lot of people are not able to travel a lot of people are not able to you know have celebration have family over a lot of people have older people old like grandmothers and grandfathers and you know they are afraid and they're like okay we can't see them you know i even saw some people during this pandemic you know when their grandparents were celebrating their birthdays and then they would only drive by in their cars and just honk or something man I just can't wait for the world to go back to normal and you know you don't have to look over your shoulders before you touch a grocery in the store before you you know you don't have to when after touching a, a grocery and you're thinking oh my god i can't touch my face oh my god i can't touch my hands you know and then times you i mean i just i just can't wait for everything to go back to normal where we don't have to try so hard to do anything anymore really the most devastating um part of this year was people losing their lives a number of celebrities tested positive for this virus as well and it just you know dealt with so many families and to all the families that lost a loved one to covid19 or in this year 2020 you know accept my condolences and um i hope that their soul rest in perfect peace and i hope god just gives you the peace of mind and the fortitude to bear this loss you know um it's just been a crazy year true and true and um i want to say thank you to all the health workers you guys are the real mvps you guys are heroes i mean you guys are the heroes of 2020 some of you have been working so hard that you have not even slept you have not been able to do anything you know it's just been crazy so um health workers you guys are the best god bless you god bless you you guys have been away from your family some of you haven't even seen your family in a long time some of you have been scared to even go home to make sure yeah you don't affect your children or something but you guys are out there giving all your life and energy to taking care of people that have been affected by this virus 
thank you guys so much and we love you so much thank you for your service thank you for everything you do god bless you so that's it that's it that's all my ranting about 2020 i hope that we have a better 2021 thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you haven't yet subscribed and join our family thank you again and have a lovely day happy holidays and happy new year in advance